Last week, I took my car on the track for the first time, even though I still don't have the brakes. What I'm gonna do now is try to improve on the times I'm setting by using something called the Garmin Catalyst. It's a onboard computer that will record your laps, analyze it, and tell you where you can improve. Yeah, let me just show you what it is. So the Catalyst is a standalone system that comes in a box. It has a seven inch screen, which is actually really big. Uh, if you remember Garmin GPS systems of the old, this is way bigger. And the goal behind this is it will record your laps by video and telematics using satellite. And then after you're done a couple sessions, it can coach you or train you on where to improve. It comes with a ton of cool features. You can upload your track times to a database. You can compare them. You can put in multiple cars and compare them down the road. And if you're worried about having your local track, well, there's 450 tracks preloaded in here all over the world. I'm at Toronto Motorsports Park, which is a smaller track. And guess what? It's in the system. And if it isn't in the system, you can have it learn a track by mapping it out, by driving around, and then you can go from there. So there's no way you can't use this except for on the street, track only. Due to the power of editing, I have most of the system set up. If you're gonna install this permanently, you do a much cleaner system. But up here's the camera that records the video. You could run this cord all the way through there like I have with my dash cam. This is the base that holds the main seven inch screen. Everything plugs into it. Again, you could run the cords much cleaner, but I'm just doing this as a demonstration right now. So then the actual system just goes on there. It's magnetized as well, so it won't fall off. It can stick to your roof. It can also, it's very strong. Rip off the screen and power it up and off we go. Okay, now that it's on, it's very easy to use. Up here, you got your settings, so you can change things like who's driving, update it, the Wi-Fi, the Bluetooth, all that. You can review your uh, laps. We'll have some here in a little bit after we get out on the track. You can hear cars are out there right now. Up here is the profile, so it's my Catalyst. There's my car, Hyundai Genesis Coupe. And you can sync it if you had the Wi-Fi set up. I don't currently. And then over here are your tracks. So you push tracks, and you can see they're all listed. There's so many of them. And I'm gonna search for the one I'm at, T O R O. There, Honda Indy Toronto, Toronto Motorsports Park. So I click that, there's my track. So when you are ready to drive, after you've looked up your track, you can hit drive, and there it is at the top now. It actually knows where I am, so it has all the closest tracks. So there's Flamborough, Honda Indy Toronto, and downtown Toronto, Mosport, or Canadian Tire Motorsports Park, as it's called, and so on and so on this it's the normal configuration the only one there is and here we go my catalyst my car i can check the audio start the lap timer say if the track's dry or not right now it's dry and off we go when i'm ready so i'm going to hit start and get on that track in a second I've been going slow out there trying to preserve what's left of my brakes. So if I hit review, it'll show my session. So there it is. That's as of today at the Toronto Motorsports Park. So yes, click that. I did two laps with the timer on and I did a very slow 136.19. So if I click this, it says my top speed is 145. Click it again. And here it's showing how I did in the different sections. I can look at laps if I want. The optimal lap, if I nailed all my best segments in one lap, would have taken a second off my time. You can look at the segments themselves and see optimal and average, which is kind of cool. It even plays back the line I took on the optimal line going into one of these corners. So you can visually see, oh, that's what I did. Okay, I need to do that again. And then there's also opportunities. So if I click that, I can save a quarter of a second by breaking better in this corner, which I figured because I'm not breaking that hard. And then you can see the deacceleration optimal compared to my average. So if I broke a little harder, I would gain a little time there. I can click on braking. And it shows me my braking and what needs to be improved. The apex, the speed, where I, how much speed I took in and then slowed down and then accelerated out. 
and then I can go to opportunity two and it's saying down here at the hairpin, looks like uh, the line I was taking was a little too wide. And then there's opportunity three. So three sections on the track, it's telling me I'm losing a lot of time. I mean, I'm losing a lot of time everywhere, but those three sections specifically. So if I really look at those and go back out, I should theoretically go a little faster by improving those times. So I think we'll try that one more time before we uh, wrap it up for the day. that using the coaching I took over a second off my time but oh my optimal times dropped another three quarters I guess this will be a never-ending chase so the Garmin is an expensive tool but it is a great tool if you're serious about lapping it's like having a mini race team inside this little screen box thing it gives you all the information you need to improve your laps and see where you're consistent and inconsistent and whatnot it's also a great tool for someone like me that's putting different parts on a car and trying to upgrade things. Because after each part, you can go do some laps and see if you're faster or maybe even got slower. I'm really curious to see what the car is gonna do once I get the brakes. Because as I've said, that is the weakest point of this car. And as you can see on my laps, it's the braking zones where I'm losing a lot of time because I A, don't trust these brakes fully and B, need some brakes to get home still. But when I get those upgraded ones, I'll be sure to put this back to the test and see if my times have improved at all.